I don't have any pictures of me as a kid. In fact, I tried real hard to stay away from cameras most of my life, because I was embarrassed and ashamed of how fat I was. When I was in third grade, my parents put me on a starvation diet. I got six crackers for dinner every night, while the rest of my family ordered pizza and taunted me. So it's safe to say I have some body image issues. Now, my whole life, I was a nice guy. I was a real sweetheart. I was the kind of friend you wish you had. I was the friend who would drop everything at 3 a.m. and come out and get you wherever you were. There's a very real prejudice about fat people. The prejudice is that all fat people are lazy, ignorant, that we just don't know any better, that we don't know you're supposed to eat healthy, or that we have poor self-control, or that we don't know how to exercise. Now, everybody should look at the people in their lives and ask themselves, how many of my friends are really, really fat? There aren't a lot, are there? Being fat cost me friends, cost me relationships, cost me money, cost me business opportunities, cost me jobs. I've been fired for being fat. I've been refused a position for being fat. I've been passed over promotions for being fat. I've been kicked out of teams, kicked off of clubs. When I first started this project, I was a little over 400 pounds. I fell in with a pretty cool seeming crowd where just about everybody was fat. We were all concerned with being okay with it and just accepting ourselves and each other. When I started losing weight, they were real supportive at first. That was part of the social contract of our group. Support each other when we start a diet with an assumption that we'll also be there for them when, not if, they fail. When I didn't fail and kept going instead, people stopped talking to me. My friends tried to push me to stop exercising, citing an interest in my health. They baited me with food every time we went out, pushing me to eat things like cheese fries. When I approached the 100 pound mark, when I really neared the first big goal, things got ugly. My friends started saying horrible things to me, like that I wasn't the same person they knew anymore, or even worse, accusing me of attacking them and their lifestyle, ostensibly by going to unhealthy extremes. When they abandoned me, it happened in mass. I found out later that my illness, as they called it, had been a popular discussion topic on Facebook and other social media. Having spent my entire life alienated from the mainstream of society because of my weight and my size and my girth and people's perceptions of me. I found it strange and very disheartening to be instantly alienated from the people who I thought accepted me for who I was, just because my weight had dropped below a certain point, because I was no longer so obese that I fit the mold. So now I've swapped one social group for another for another. And yet I'm still between worlds because I'm hovering on the edge of fitting into the, the ultra-fit, super-athletic group, which will probably happen in another, I'd say, 30 pounds. And then people are going to start reacting to me entirely differently again. I imagine when I get below 15% body fat, people are going to stop calling me, you know, things like meathead, and they're going to start calling me, you know, things like self-obsessed pretty boy, or anything else like that. I'm kind of interested to see how it turns out, honestly. Whether I end up losing the friends that I've made again, or if I simply add new dimensions to the social group that I've found.